Hi, I'm Lou, another episode of My Car Story. We're in Scottsdale, Arizona at Cars and Coffee. I'm here with Jeff. Jeff, nice to see you. Hi, nice to see you. What's your last name? Boots. Boots, and Jeff Boots got an interesting car. It's uh, the 4th of July show, so they're featuring red, white, and blue. We've got a, a Shelby GT350. And what color? Uh, it's uh, Oxford White. Oxford White. So a Shelby GT350. What year is this one? 2016. 2016. Why this car out of all the cars in the world? And you, by the way, you've got a couple of cars. Tell us your other I've cars. I've got a, a 458 Ferrari, and I have a Lamborghini Diablo. And now you've got a Ford. Now I got a Ford GT350. And <laughs> yeah, the reason I bought it was I wanted something I could drive daily and not have to worry about where I parked it basically yeah. and it's a fun car this is a daily driver yeah yeah and we've got the the Shelby GT350 yeah, there, there and the hat come on next to me okay so uh, first of all great pick on the car I mean it looks spectacular what's the reaction versus the Ferrari versus the Lambo it gets a lot of looks still uh, a lot of people into American cars I want to uh, like the look. It's uh, they changed the body style in 2015. The engine in this car is just for this car only, and they patterned it after the Ferrari 458. It's got a flat plane crank, naturally aspirated engine, 526 horsepower. Uh, it's a nice ride. 526 horsepower. How does that compare with your? 458. 458's 562, so it's a little bit less, uh, but it gets up and go. This all, it almost looks like carbon fiber. It looks like carbon fiber, but it's actually a plastic. Okay. You got the venting there in the hood. Let's get an overall shot of the side of the car. The sun is hitting it just right. And I love the color on this car. I mean, it, yeah, it really it, looks uh, like a Shelby race car, doesn't it? Back in 65, when they first made the first Shelby GT350, these were the colors. Where'd you find this one at? I found this in a little town in Texas called Plainview, Texas. Was it on uh, eBay? Was eBay our friend? Or? Uh, it wasn't eBay, but it was another car site. And uh, all the local dealers wanted so much over sticker, uh, I had to go out of state to find one at a reasonable price. I love the contour on the mirror there, really nice. We've got the flag since we're on, featuring the 4th of yeah. July. Now they say that, that, and you would be the answer to this question, they say that this is a very trackable car. Yeah, it uh, has, finally Ford came out with independent rear suspension. That's, Can you feel the difference? Yeah, and it's a lightweight car. It's got uh, the four exhaust pipes and it has an exhaust switch that opens up the exhaust so it sounds pretty good. There's an exhaust switch. Okay, that's good to know. We'll have to, we'll have to hear the difference between that. Okay. Please open the uh, interior. Sure. And the gas filler there. All right, there we go. That's kind of a neat feature there too. Where they put that. And these cars only came with a uh, six-speed manual transmission. Six-speed manual, no options. No options for a automatic. I get the feeling when you turn this on, it looks a little computer game-like. A little bit, yeah. I'm going to look over your shoulder then when you do turn it on. So we'll, sure. when you do, we'll roll this window down and I'll put the camera over your shoulder. Okay. Let's, uh, let's open the engine compartment. Take a look in there. I'll go around this way. All stock. All stock. Let me take my time because this is this is a little unique. We've got the sun hitting it just right. It's the only Ford product that this engine is used for. There's the, the flat crank we were talking about.
All right, let's, uh, let me have you, I'm gonna go first. Follow me, thank you. If we can roll that window down so I can look over your shoulder, we'll start it. Let me get under the hood. All right, when I get behind it, let's switch the, uh, we'll put it to normal, and then we'll switch it over to, uh, we'll give it a rev, then we'll turn the exhaust, and then we'll give it a rev. Definitely hear the end, that switch. <laughs> okay. All right, let's shut her down. And we'll have you come on out. Jeff, let's shut the engine compartment, please, and we'll have you stand right next to her. Jeff, so fun to talk to a guy who's got a Ferrari, a Lambo, and a, and a Ford. So it's great to hear that uh, all of the details on this car and how it compares. And thanks for being on My Car Story. What a treat. Thank you very much.